Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 18. And in this video, I want to start talking to you guys a little bit about the different types of loops that we get in PHP. Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to start off with the for loop. And it actually turns out that computers are really good at repeating tasks. So this is something that we as programmers can use to our advantage because there will often be times where we want to repeat one line of code or maybe even a whole bunch of code more than once. And that is where we will use a for loop or any kind of loop actually. But for this example, obviously we're talking about for loops. Okay, so let's take a look at the syntax for a for loop and then I'll explain everything as we go along. So we're going to start off by typing the word for, F-O-R, and two parentheses, uh, opening and a closing one. Okay, and inside here we're going to put in an expression, or actually there's going to be three expressions, so we'll go expression one, semicolon, expression two, semicolon, and expression three. Now, I'm going to come back and explain these expressions in just a moment. But for now, let's just finish like this whole uh, syntax. Uh, so I'm going to put in my curly braces. And now, the code that I want to repeat would go here. So code goes here. Uh, so this will be all the code that I want to repeat uh, one, two, or three times, or whatever. That can go in here. Okay. Now, let's take a look at these expressions again. Because there's probably a much better way to remember this. Okay. And expression one is always going to be a counter. Which is going to obviously count how many times this loop has run. Okay, so this is actually going to become a new variable which we will use inside of our for loop. Then expression 2 is going to be a condition. So this is basically how long should the loop keep running for or keep ex executing for. Uh, and that is what we handle with this condition. Now uh, the last one is actually going to be the increment and this gets called at the end of our loop and this just tells our loop okay how much do we want to increase this counter by so those are what those three conditions or expressions do and uh, now let's take a look at actually making a loop that runs 10 times and then you'll see all of this in action okay so like I said our counter is gonna be a new variable and uh, most often we always just make a variable called I uh, you'll see a lot of programmers will do this when they make a for loop uh, the variable is usually always I and I'm gonna set that equal to 0 okay so that means that we're going to start counting from zero. Uh, then the next thing is our condition. So how long do we want this loop to continue executing? So I'm going to go ahead and say while well, i is less than 10. So we're going to start at zero and then we're going to start counting and we're going to keep executing as long as i is less than 10. So how much are we going to increment i by every time the loop runs? Well, that's what we handle over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and say i++, plus plus, and that means we're going to add 1 to i. So i will start off as 0, then it'll go to 1, then 2, then 3, and eventually it'll be 9. And uh, it'll still run at 9, it'll, it'll still execute something because 9 is indeed less than 10 but once we increment i to 10 
then i or 10 is no longer less than 10 so that's when our loop will finally stop okay so let's go ahead and actually just echo something out here um, we can just echo out this is iteration uh, and iteration is just a word for the current uh, execution of the loop I guess kind of a difficult word to explain <laughs> Uh, if I if I didn't explain it properly, you guys can just look it up on Google or something. Uh, okay, so this is iteration uh, i. So we'll put in our variable here. I'm gonna leave a space there, so that makes sense. And I want to also append on a break tag, just so that every time the loop runs, it starts a new line. Okay, so now I can go ahead and save this and looks right, looks like it should work. So let's go over to Firefox, click refresh and I've missed the semicolon somewhere. Okay, I actually put a semicolon where I don't need one and that is after the last expression in these parentheses. I don't need a semicolon over there. So let's go ahead and save that. Uh, go back now and click refresh. And as you can see, we now have this is iteration zero all the way to uh, this is iteration nine, which means that this loop did indeed run 10 times. And as I said, once we got to uh, I equals 10, then 10 is no longer less than 10. So our loop stopped and uh, that's where um, that's where it would move on to any code that was down there. Okay, uh, the other thing we can do is we don't always have to count up, we can also count down. So if I go ahead and say i minus minus, and uh, we'll keep going while i is greater than zero. So we'll set i to 10 uh, to start off with. And I'm going to actually just delete this line as well, just so everything uh, kind of makes sense when we print it out. Go back here, click refresh, and as you can see, we now start at 10 and count down to 1. So that's pretty cool, and that is how you use a for loop in PHP. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like, or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow, and I'll see you guys next time.